Hi guys, this is Silas here and welcome in my Staris Cityscape Art Journal layout. Uh, first, as always, I glued together two pages, then gesso them and now I am applying two coats of black acrylic paint. Uh, after this is done, uh, I used a little bit of white paint mixed with water and brush and I flicked some stars, as you can see now. Also previously I have drawn into my other Moleskine sketchbook a sketch of my cityscape. Uh, then I trans trace it on a transparent paper and now I am using it as a template. I blacked the back side of transparent paper and basically I have made my own copy paper and with this I am able to draw my houses and towers exactly. And for those I am using a various pattern paper as you can see now. As you can see I am using my original sketch and I am putting my pieces together like a puzzle, just to remind me where everything should go. I also with a graphic pencil I retraced the whole city into my journal just to give me a hint where everything needs to be placed. Uh, to glue everything down I am using gel medium and after I glue everything I also put another layer of gel medium on top just to seal everything down and also to be able to add shading with Pit Artist Pen from Faber Castell which can be used on non-porous surface so that's why I'm doing this. So sorry guys for the barking in the background, it was just my dog, he's sitting behind the window and prob he probably saw something he didn't like, so that's why he barked.
uh, to shade my uh, houses and my towers I'm using uh, several shades of uh, pit artist pen I just draw a line and then smudge it with my fingers it's also good to have uh, your fingers a little bit wet so I am using a uh, wet baby wipe just to wet my fingers as you can see I am building my shadows gradually by adding layer after layer not at once because it's very easy just to overdo it so it's better to build layers gradually Now I'm adding some missing lines to my houses, window and ledges uh, with my ruler and beige and grey marker. Uh, later I change my mind and uh, add a gold uh, gel pen instead of beige marker. As you can see now I am filling all of my windows with a white gel pen and uh, after this is done then I added a gold layer with my uh, gold glitter glue. This is, th this is the same glue I used in both my previous projects. I kinda love it. Now it's time to add my quote. Uh, I am using watermark resist ink to stamp my quote and then I put embossing powder on top and uh, after I melt it down with my heat gun. I 
I really love the effect which can give embossing so I think it's great technique and you should definitely try it. So now I'm, now I am melting it down with uh, my heat gun, and you can see how the letters changing slowly. It's a great effect, I think. Uh, now I am adding some uh, thin black line just to frame some of my towers and houses, uh, and it gives them a nice edge. And now it's time for my gold line with a gold gel pen, as I mentioned earlier. And I also added uh, with this same uh, gold gel pen uh, some gold dots on the top of some of my towers. Just to decorate them a little bit more. Uh, now it's time to cut off uh, the excesses of my page. And this layout is almost finished. Finally, I am adding some white stars with my white gel pen and this layout is done. As always, in the end of the video, uh, you, yay, you can see my cat here, she really wants to cuddle. And as always, in the end of the video, you can see some close-up photos of my project. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me thumbs up and also subscribe so you won't miss my next Arjuna video. And I would also love to hear your comments and thoughts or some suggestions. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!